Hi XR developers. For a long time, arguably the most difficult part about Meta's XR SDK was dealing with spatial anchors and especially sharing them amongst all players in a multiplayer experience to create what we call a collocated experience. As of V71, the whole setup has become much easier and most tutorials out there are unfortunately not accurate anymore. I will show you how easy it has become to set up collocated experiences by making this video as concise as possible. If you want to learn how to create, save, delete and load anchors, you can check out one of my previous videos. The API only slightly changed since then and now uses async await methods such as ovrspatialanchor.share async or ovrspatialanchor.save anchor async. Now, a big pain point in the past was it to share our spatial anchors with other players. As of v71, spatial anchor sharing and loading is now group-based instead of user-based. User-based means we previously needed a way to share anchors specifically with a user using their Oculus user ID. This led to several issues for developers in the past, as this requires the creation of a Quest Store app in order to request access to user ID and user profile data permissions. With group-based anchors, all these requirements are not needed anymore, and therefore a big hurdle and time-consuming setup has been eliminated. To get started, we need a Meta Quest 2, Quest Pro, Quest 3 or Quest 3S, and the Meta XR Core SDK V71 or later. We need to turn on Enhanced Spatial Services on our MetaQuest device by going to Settings, Privacy and Safety, and then Device Permissions. Your app can detect when this setting is disabled and inform users to turn it on. Also, make sure that Shared Spatial Anchor Support is set to Required on your OVR Manager. Now, group sharing simplifies application logic in two ways. The player sharing the spatial anchor does not need to keep track of the user IDs to whom they will share. They can instead share via a unique group identifier that all clients can reference. And there is no longer a need to maintain a list of unique anchor identifiers to load, as the group identifier can be used to query for the complete set of anchors already shared with the group. Before sharing a spatial anchors with a group, one of the participants needs to create a single UUID representing the group and communicate it to the others. The easiest way we can get and share such a UID with all other users would be to use the new Collocation Discovery API introduced with version 71. Collocation Discovery is a feature that allows users to advertise to and discover nearby users via Bluetooth. Keep those two concepts, advertisement and discovery, in mind for later. With Collocation Discovery, we can not only create and share group UIDs, but sessions can advertise up to 1024 bytes of data that is available to nearby clients who are discovering sessions for a particular app. Here we just need to make sure on the OVR Manager Collocation Session Support is required and everyone who wants to use Collocation Discovery needs to at least be a member of a verified organization, be a test user from the developer organization owning the app, or be invited by a developer organization to any of the release channels other than the production release channel. Therefore, no entitlement checks are necessary anymore to share or load anchors. Lastly, when successfully receiving the group UID and loading the spatial anchor, the other users need to align their tracking space to the user space who shared the anchor. Let's jump into the code to see how shared spatial anchors and collocation discovery work together. The whole setup can be done in only about 200 lines of code. I split the code up into two scripts. Let's start by looking at the collocation manager responsible for creating anchors and sharing them using the collocation discovery API. You can see at the beginning that we have a conditional statement, which only compiles this script if Fusion 2 is present in the project. This prevents us from having compiler errors when we import the scripts before we have imported the other packages. Now, for setting up a collocation scene itself, we don't need a networking framework like Photon Fusion, but we will definitely need it for our overall collocated experience later when we want to interact with other users. Also, using Fusion here, will make it easier to call certain code only on the host and other code only on the guest machines. The class inherits from network behavior, which provides multiplayer networking capabilities. The manager contains a serialized field for the alignment manager and maintains a private GUID to track the shared anchor group. When the object spawns in the network, it calls prepare collocation, which determines whether the current instance is a host or client. For hosts, the script initiates an advertisement process. It creates a byte array containing the session name Shared Spatial Anchor Session and attempts to start advertising using OVR Collocation Session. Upon successful advertisement, it stores the session's unique identifier and proceeds to create the spatial anchors we will later use to align all the users. We call it the Alignment Anchor. 
For this, we call the create and share alignment anchor method, which calls the async create anchor method. The alignment anchor creation process occurs at the world origin vector 30 with no rotation. The script creates a new game object, adds a spatial anchor component, and waits for confirmation of the anchor's creation. Once created, it moves on to call the save anchor async method, which is the OVR spatial anchor method, which is part of the Meta's core SDK. When the saving was successful, we then call another OVR spatial anchor method called share async to share our anchor. Using our unique group UID, we got from the advertisement result of the collocation discovery before. Now, for clients, the process begins with discovery. The class subscribes to session discovery events and starts searching for advertised sessions. When a session is found, it stores the session's UID and begins the process of loading and aligning to the shared anchor. You can also see that we unsubscribe from the collocation session discovered events. The load and align to anchor method attempts to load any unbound shared anchors for the group. For each unbound anchor, it attempts localization. Successfully localized anchors are bound to new game objects and the user is aligned to them using the alignment manager. Let's move to the alignment manager class. This component handles the precise positioning of users in the shared space. During awake, it finds and stores a reference to the camera rig transform. The align user to anchor method ensures the anchor is valid and localized before beginning the alignment process. The alignment process uses a coroutine that performs two passes for accuracy. Each pass resets the camera rig's position and rotation to zero, then calculates the correct position using the anchor's inverse transform point. The rotation is adjusted to match the anchor's orientation, but only on the y-axis to maintain proper user orientation. This system ensures all users share the same coordinate space and can see each other in the correct positions relative to shared virtual objects and other users. This setup works for apps where you want multiple guests to join the same session. Keep in mind to modify the scripts to your specific case and don't forget to explicitly stop the advertisement of the session when all clients have joined to not keep advertising the whole time. You can do that with the stop advertisement async method from the collocation discovery API. Now, before testing, let's set up our scene. We simply add a camera rig and pass through building block. We then also add the network variable object block, which will automatically add the network manager and matchmaking blocks to set up our fusion session automatically for us. Next, personally, I want to add the player name tag block, which comes with the platform init block. I am using this to better visualize where each player is. But keep in mind, if you want to use the name tag, you will indeed need to install the Meta Platform SDK, as well as upload your app to a release channel in your Meta Developer dashboard. Go through the whole data use checkup and invite your friends to the release channel's user. We won't go into detail about it in this video, since it is totally optional for collocation. Lastly, we add our own scripts to the scene. The collocation manager needs a network object, and we set it to be a master client object. Then we make a separate game object for the alignment manager since it is not a network component and we then reference it on the collocation manager. And that's it. Let's now connect our devices to our computer to read the logs from it and see how the collocation setup works in action. I recommend you to connect your device to your computer and use the Android LogCat package from Unity. Here we can filter the logs to only show Unity logs for easier and more efficient debugging. As you can see, on the host, we start the advertisement, create, save and share the alignment anchor and all of this happens very quickly. We then connect the second device and we start the discovery. We discover the group UID and then load the anchor from the group and start the alignment of our tracking space. As you can see, we now have a very accurately shared tracked space, which we achieve by sharing a single anchor. I'm using a Quest 3 and Quest 3S here in this test, so you can see that it also works across different devices. Great, I hope this video was helpful to you and will get you started quickly with setting up your own collocated experience. As you can see, the setup is fairly simple and I hope we will see more and better social experiences on MetaQuest because of it. As always, if you find this content helpful, please take a second to leave a like or subscribe, consider supporting me on Patreon to get access to the full source code and feel free to join our XR Developer community on Discord. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.